Alléluia. Every time you see retreats like this are times of feasting on the mysteries of the kingdom. Feasting on the mysteries of the kingdom. You can be zealous in times of dissipating spiritual energy but whether or not you are making impact in the realm of the spirit is dependent on the quality of the insight that guides your prayer it's not just the zeal and the will to pray but the insight that guides the prayer otherwise there are many prayer warriors on earth whose lives should bring forth a level and an extent of Christian experience that should defy argument. So it's not just in the dissipating of energy, but the quality of the insight. Are we together now? So every time the word of God is coming, it's an opportunity for you to receive. The word of God, Satan has never been afraid of the word of God. No. Satan is afraid of your understanding of it. The word of God in itself will not do Satan no harm at all. So it is, this is the most, this is the most crucial part of any meeting. When the mysteries are about to come. Because the quality of your results will be dependent on what your eyes see, not what you hear. Are we together? Praise the Lord. Please be seated for a while. Jesus, thank you. It's one mystery per day and the reason why we share it like this is because we want our hearts to be open. My assignment is to guide us on a kingdom truth. When Jesus walked the earth, every time he walked with the disciples, it was an opportunity for him to unfold something about the operation of the kingdom. I struggle very seriously with what I'm about to share because I hope that we will not only appreciate it but it's something that I pray with all my heart that if you grasp the truth that I show you tonight it will change your life in a way that will surprise you if you're with me say amen, amen. tonight I'm sharing on the mystery of strongholds the mystery of strongholds second corinthians chapter 10 from verse 4 the mystery of strongholds this is a powerful secret of dominion this is a powerful secret of legislature in the realm of the spirit the mystery of strongholds second corinthians chapter 10 second corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4 10 and verse 4 when you read from verse 3 it says for though we walk in the flesh it says our warfare listen carefully this is Paul speaking now one who was granted access Paul called himself a steward of the mystery he didn't call himself a preacher. Paul didn't call himself. There were people who were called men of God in the Bible. An example, Elijah. An example, Samuel. Paul never called himself a man of God. He called himself a steward of the mystery. One who was given access to the mysteries. That so that when we listen to him, we might be partakers of that fellowship. Called in. A participation to come into an understanding of that mystery and this was one of the mysteries he said for though we walk in the flesh our warfare is not physical listen carefully 
our warfare is not physical and then he says in verse 4 it says for the weapons of our warfare so warfare is for sure but he's guiding you on how to engage it listen living is warfare prosperity is warfare growth is warfare but he's giving us the character of this he's saying the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god and the entire arsenal is supposed to achieve one purpose to pull down not enemies strongholds what kind of warfare is this that the enemy is not a human being he never said to pull down spirits think about that he didn't even say to pull down demons that this warfare god had to give you the tools to use and he says this fight is not against flesh and blood that the fight is not even against demons not to pull down demons to pull down strongholds <laughs> this is warfare now next verse casting down what spirits demons satan imaginations the greek word yes are and every high thing not high person high thing high information that exalted itself against the person every high thing that exalts itself above another kind of knowledge this is warfare that god gave you these tools please get what i'm teaching you tonight that this fight is not against flesh and blood but that this fight huh god gave you these spiritual tools to pull down strongholds to cast imaginations to dethrone high things and then to bring thoughts strongholds imaginations high things thoughts this is warfare now this is very strange there is no name of a spirit that is mentioned just follow me there is no name of a demon that is announced here shocker even satan is not mentioned here this is paul teaching us a dimension of warfare that is strange the mystery of strongholds are we together that a man's bondage is not necessarily the physical things you see is not even the spirits that oppress the person that when a man is ready to establish victory the focus is not even the spirit entities that are causing these problems but that there is an operation listen Jesus is teaching us and this is what he said that human beings are houses and temples God said that demons also say that is that true and the Bible says a spirit can live in a man follow me carefully a spirit can live in a man and that there is a possibility of casting that spirit out of a man is that true where does the spirit go to when you cast the spirit the Bible says it moves around dry lands everywhere is that true and then it becomes restless what makes it restless then the Bible says after a while it will turn back he never said I will go to the body he said I will still go back to my house now question a spirit is somewhere no prayer no prophet no anointing something casted it from there back into a human being that required a man of God to cast it out what made the spirit uncomfortable with an environment that it left on its own without the particular desire of a man to, to drive it think about this if this guy has a demon spirit and I lay hands on him and cast out the demon spirit 
I thought if the demon spirit is somewhere, somebody should be able to drive it back. But the demon says on his own, that environment without any human intervention does something to that demon spirit that makes it restless the same way a man of god's anointing is driving it and he starts moving back and say it is even better compared to what i am facing here it is better to go back to that human being in matthew chapter 4 you also find that account in luke chapter 4 watch this when jesus went to fast i want to tell you certain things about strongholds and about this we are going to pray but i want there are things that believers that's why i told you i struggle to share what i'm sharing there is a whole series on this that is coming jesus the bible declares that jesus is the embodiment of the godhead is that true and the bible calls him full of grace and truth now jesus goes to fast hey, Jimmy, jesus is fasting and satan is waiting for him instead of the fasting to drive demons the fasting was attracting satan listen <laughs> satan is not afraid of jesus satan is not even afraid of the fact that jesus is fasting this is jesus being the son of god alone should command respect then fasting for 40 days no food no water satan is not afraid then satan comes to jesus looks at jesus jesus is looking at him back i thought satan would be rolling and shouting and moving up and down church has never scared satan the presence of god has never scared satan listen carefully <laughs> just just take it in first like an injection let it enter and settle down then we'll continue in the book of job job chapter one the bible says once upon a time the sons of god went to show themselves to the lord is that true and the bible says satan at that time he had fallen otherwise god would not ask him where are you coming from is that true satan goes before god and he said where are you coming from he said from moving to and fro the earth what location the earth and he says have you considered my servant job and then this is what satan says there was something you put around job he never said job's prayer he never said job's fasting i every time i came to job i saw that there was something that surrounded him that i could not even touch him it made me uncomfortable i could not remain with job and he said take that thing away and watch what how i will rubbish job what was satan's request it not make me more powerful not make job more powerful whatever it is and this is what job said in the days of my youth when the secrets of the lord was upon my tabernacle those secrets built a fortification in the realm of the spirit and the bible says satan came not a demon he came by himself whether job was praying or not the fortifications were there he was a man of prayer he was a man of power satan feared job but he stood before god satan feared job but he went before god and stood he said i couldn't stand before this guy but i can come to stand before you it's your bible i'm, I'm not reading a, a, a it's your bible are you getting blessed and then all of that began to happen and job's life went down and then job's life came back again now watch this in luke chapter 4 let's go back to our text give us luke chapter 4 jesus just finished praying and fasting you are praying now you are fasting is that true in your mind you believe that this praying and fasting you are doing is supposed to drive out all kinds of demons there is only a kind that prayer and fasting drives says jesus our chief mentor and apostle this kind this kind there is a kind because of the nature of their operation that praying and fasting 
we are fasting together so listen to what i'm telling you now look at how this verse starts please listen jesus comma being full of the holy ghost again then goes to fast i mean he, he returned from jordan and was led of the spirit into the wilderness jesus the bread of life the holy ghost number two fasting added prayer 40 days then let's see what happens after 40 days he was tempted of the devil satan came to tempt jesus that word tempt dear is a very interesting word please follow me and the bible says and he was hungry verse 3 verse 3 and the devil said so this is the tempting now the bible says satan tempted him and the other verses are explaining the content of the temptation are we together how did satan tempt jesus if thou be the son of god command this stone that it be made bread verse 4 and jesus answered satan talked to jesus and was not afraid jesus the word put the word in his lips and was speaking that word did not cast out satan please listen to me i want you to be so powerful and should be so free we have inherited a lot of religion and this is why we keep doing a lot of things and there are no results in our lives listen listen carefully he said jesus said to him answered satan asked jesus a question jesus is replying back remember this is jesus and satan if they were angels they'll say this guy's wasting his time somewhere satan came directly to jesus what makes you think he will not come to you he went to the throne he went to the son that man shall not live jesus said it is written now this one we can we can dwell here forever because this is jesus the word and yet he's saying it is written he didn't say i said he went to scripture it is written the bible says all scriptures were inspired by the holy ghost and jesus still said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word of god and that was him standing man shall not live by bread alone but by every word of god and jesus is standing and satan is not afraid what was wrong with his confession was it the scripture that was wrong or the person was unholy or the utterance was wrong and satan still stood if you get what i'm teaching you you will know why regardless of what people are doing it looks like satan still remains now listen this is even the fearful part temptation number two satan take him up how did he do it satan take not the baby jesus jesus who had received the baptism of the holy ghost satan told him come and he took him into a high mountain now this is the fearful part and showed him all the kingdoms of the world just flash like that and then here was satan's proposal look how shameless satan is we don't know how shameless he is that's why we think just by standing as they said and live my life and you will leave you you are joking you watch what happened between him and jesus and the devil said unto him again this is the living word this is the logos of god all this power i will please talk to me what was the power that he would give him anointing what did he call power the kingdoms the systems the governments he called them power i will give you and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever i will i give it do you know what satan was telling jesus in heaven you drove me but this one is my territory are we together now i have influenced the government i have influenced the system this one belongs to me if you ever see anybody rise i made it happen and so you better negotiate with me this is satan he's not unaware that this is the living logos 
but he tells him how can i be in a territory and you want to lift somebody and bypass me he said look let me tell you this is what you are trying to look for he made it flash before him and he said i will give you he called all of them power the question is how did he get it i used to think he just got it from adam yes he got the keys from adam but how did he get the governments how did he get the systems to a point that he says it is my own i will give anybody i want to give it follow me ezekiel 28 your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and i will forever sing your praise ezekiel 28 verse 14 your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and i will forever sing your praise i will sing i will sing of the wonders of your word I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. This was a story, listen carefully, of what we call the pre Adamite dispensation. This was a dispensation before Adam, the man that we know. Are we together? The Bible, Ezekiel the prophet is giving access to Revelation and he's speaking about the king of Tyre whose life parallels with that of Lucifer in the days of his glory. Now listen, I hope you know that Lucifer was created. Is that true? And the Bible acknowledges that Lucifer, please help that person, the Bible acknowledges that Lucifer was a cherub. Is that true? A cherub higher than the realm of angels. Are we together? Because by, on, by this time, the mortal man Adam was not in the equation. So after God, directly under him were the cherubs or the cherubims. Under the cherubims were the seraphims. Then the seraphims and were the angelic keda. And then the humanoid species that existed within that civilization. Are we together? This was the organogram. And then, this is a description of Lucifer. It says, Thou art the anointed cherub. Who anointed him? Listen. Who anointed him? God himself anointed him. And the Bible says that covereth. The word covereth, there is the word influence. That you are an anointed cherub. He says i have set this so so it was part of the predeterminate counsel of god that there be a cherub that is given an anointing are we together now most of you must have heard it the word anointed there is the word mimshak you know that the word mimshak there means uh, the direct hebrew rendition means to spread like to push your tentacles the extended meaning also means to multiply your influence within a region so this is the kind of anointing that he was given and the gift and the callings of god are without repentance are we together now listen satan was given this anointing that means satan also depends on the very power of god to still be satan today are we together so we are seeing that satan got this anointing himself from god he said i have set this so that was upon the holy mountain of god thou dost walk up and down in the midst of the stones of fire most people just teach that all satan was doing was worship in heaven um it's not exactly so yes it is true that his description he said that was perfect in thy ways in in the day that that was created till iniquity was found every angel has a will satan too has a will there is nobody in heaven and on earth that is serving god by force they can choose to rebel that's why when satan chose to rebel listen carefully god himself had respect for his rebellion but when you make whatever decision you'll be ready for the consequence now watch this let's see how this corrupted anointing worked if you don't understand this you will be surprised a jimmy 
this is heaven where God dwells Lucifer's anointing is corrupted and Lucifer's anointing in the presence of God the epicenter of heaven influence one third of the angels one third this is heaven where God dwells and the power of that anointing exerted something on their wheels their wheels he never chained any angel look at the warfare that happened in heaven that Satan what did he say to the angels that they preferred him to God look at the throne room and the 24 elders yet Satan came with an anointing and spoke something and one third of the angels said we will give up the throne room for you thou anointed cherub that covereth are you seeing how he won the kings of the earth in a moment are you seeing how he won the governments and the systems and he came to Jesus he said have you forgotten I am still anointed though corrupted anyone you want with influence is under my care there is an anointing I was the light bearer of heaven Satan is a master at manipulating the minds of people. Look how easy he entered Peter. Peter, close to Jesus, he just came at will in the presence of Jesus. And Jesus looked and said, this is Satan. Peter, this is not you. Peter did not even know. This is how easy it is. Jesus was on a mission. Satan distracted Jesus to a mountain. Jesus had to return back. The anointed cherub. Let me show you where the power of Satan is. It's not just in witchcraft. The power of Satan is in his ability to capture the wheels of men, of systems, of governments. You see that? So give us 2 Corinthians 10 again. Paul was watching this in a vision while it was being shown him. And Paul said, so this is it. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal it's not just about demons and spirits because a demon is in the wilderness and there was no human being to occupy and on his own there he said i will go back where humans are because in the wilderness there are no wheels is inanimate let me go where there are human wheels and then i manipulate them listen satan controls the earth by controlling the minds and controlling systems and controlling governments this is a mystery that i show you when satan comes to you he will not tie your hands he is a master there is an anointing the very power of god working in him and until god fortifies you you will fall for his deceit satan desired to sift you like wheat he's telling peter satan desired whereas peter had already fallen since this is powerful peter satan came to him are you seeing why satan entered judas look how easy it was for him to come into the camp of jesus and just manipulate people to the point that he almost got jesus get semeny jesus was there father ah, and he said no nevertheless not my will listen satan went to the wife of a of herod and gave her a dream to advise her husband and she got up and said i had a dream this man is innocent don't kill him it looks like a good thing if they didn't kill jesus there would not be salvation satan for you are we together he's a master manipulator if God does not help you, your mind is a child's play for him. He will beat you at this game. There is an anointing on him. Satan in heaven, that there is a roll call. He was talking to the angels one by one. The billions of angels in heaven, he won one third of them. To the point that they were ready to dismember themselves and leave their original estate. This is the one we are dealing with. And Paul said, listen, your focus should be on this mind. The mystery of strongholds. That the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Right? 
but to the pulling down of strongholds that's god's emphasis you want to win satan pull down strongholds cast down imaginations 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 why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing genesis 11 nothing they have chosen to do that they have imagined cast down imagination so the bible says let this mind be in you philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 let this mind there is a kind of mind that must be in you which was also in christ jesus let this mind be in you that was also in christ jesus that without this mind being in you that was also in christ jesus satan will beat you at the game hands down there is an anointing he deceived angels in the presence of god satan came to jesus and attempted to sway jesus the first time he didn't quote a scripture then when jesus replied him he took him to the mountain then the third time he quoted scripture they shall keep the charge it is not the quoting of scripture that brings victory my brother my sister that's why satan can be in a meeting a demon can be with someone a pastor is preaching an anointed man is preaching the demon is joining the person who is inside listening to say hallelujah he's clapping he doesn't stop you and all of a sudden something happens and the same demon starts jumping out didn't he fear the praise and worship how many times did they yell the name of jesus shout jesus everybody you shouted jesus he was still there quiet that's how you can share the grace the grace of our lord jesus he will share it with you and live too there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Listen, the most important part of you that Satan wants is not your body. The most important part of you that Satan wants is not your spirit. The most important part of you that Satan wants is your mind understand this your mind interfaces your body and your spirit when satan gets your mind he gets two for one he gets your body and your spirit this is the bible i'm showing you because for years i kept wondering why it looked like satan was not afraid of many things about god you close your bible and lie down on it and sleep yet the demons come and press you how many of you have fasted three days dry and on the third day you had a wicked dream demons came and oppressed you you've not even broken the fast you spent time blasting in tongues and you came to us men of god and we said you don't have faith it's a lie it's a lie there are not many things satan is afraid of I've listed some of them for you we think he fears everything no sir satan is never afraid of the presence of god he's only afraid of what the presence of god does to you you not the presence of god there are people who make this bible in publishing homes that are currently filled with demons inside them yet they are publishing bibles i have ministered deliverance to pastors mighty men and women of god with power who are also themselves anointed to deliver people the mystery of strongholds that satan captures territories and captures individuals by doing something to their minds this is what is called witchcraft here's what paul said oh foolish galatians who has bewitched you not about drinking blood and eating flesh he sells a proposition to you in a way and manner that will force you to receive it and by it you give up the power do you know if jesus saw that kingdom and did that 
Satan would rather collect salvation and give him kingdom. Remember, Jesus was about to be coronated after his death to be given a name that is above all names, both of things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. And Satan said, let me give you on earth. It looked like a wonderful idea. Are we together? So Paul says, we are not unaware of his not his power satan has many devices many 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 devices from the word stratomai devices different ways he can come up with all kinds of plans to manipulate the minds of believers this is jesus satan stands before god and talks to god and God still respected the free will of Satan. Listen, I'm going to tell you some. I know that I've attacked so many things today. And many people now will insult me again because of all of this. But let me tell you this. I love the body of Christ. But I want you to be powerful. For many years, we were taught that Satan can never access the presence of God. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's not true. There was no place for him found in heaven means that the office he occupied was no longer there but he could access the presence of god he still can in the new testament or at least in the ministry of jesus satan came to jesus many times he came to jesus in peter he came to jesus in judas he came to jesus by himself he was not afraid It is not the presence of God that scares so that you have the Holy Spirit inside you and then people say there's nowhere Satan can come close to you be careful Jesus Luke chapter 4 verse 1 was full of the Holy Ghost and yet Satan came to him after fasting you would think the fasting would have driven him away is that true but after the fasting was attracting him and he came but there was something Jesus did he didn't just say it is written it is written what was satan looking for remember that whole thing was about words and information there is an information and jesus gave him another information the moment he found out that jesus was informed the bible says he withdrew so when satan comes to you he does not search he searches for if what do you have what residue of mystery do you have what do you know about him and what don't you know about him and he can manipulate you and beat you hands down brothers and sisters what does satan tell a man that makes him to join occult what does satan tell a man that he can carry his child and slaughter the child and while blood is coming out he's laughing satan was not there holding the knife the influence was the strength of the man by himself satan only left him with an information and went to bed and that man slaughters the child What does Satan tell a man that he dedicates a whole land to Satan? An intelligent man. Look at Jezebel. Look at Jezebel. Under her watch, the powers that be, if you serve God Almighty, you have to go on hiding. The prophets of Baal were flourishing because a woman who sat on the seat of government could manipulate the minds. Look at what Satan did to Herodias. A small girl dances before a man and then a man comes and says what do you want even if it's up to half of my kingdom I will give you is that normal listen one of the ways Satan has destroyed our lives and our families is through witchcraft but it is not witchcraft as we know he uses our imagination and distracts us into thinking it is just the drinking blood part of it and the old woman there whereas the true point of access of victory is something that he does to our minds and our imaginations to keep us through why does satan love pictures why do you go to bed and satan uses the face of your own mother to come and strangle you 
and you get up in the morning he never told you anything you just went to bed and saw the face of your mother and you got up and went to a prophet and then satan now shows a true prophet the face of your mother too and he confirms with what he sent to you in the dream and says your mother is a witch and you're a powerful prayer warrior yet you walk around believing your mother is a witch Are you getting what I'm telling you? The anointed cherub. He was not just a musician. No. No. He was not just a musician. There was an anointing on Satan for unusual influence over the minds of people. That's what we call Mimshak. That anointing you see was given to Satan. God still gives it to men. Are we together this is not just some mm -mm. The, when you see any man commanding strange dimensions of influence and getting loyalty over the minds of people whether in the secular whether in the christendom it is that same anointing that is operational a wicked man like saddam hussein look at terrorists can you imagine there are still people enrolling in terrorist groups today young boys will sit down and say i want to become Hapa. someone goes to school and studies medicine for six years and just donates himself is that normal there is a grace that was the grace that jesus put on these disciples on learned men and in one day the bible said they were caught in the heart men and brethren what do we do and from that day to death they stayed with him the same grace that satan used to deceive one third of the angels that fell all power i'm not saying to use demon powers or this i'm explaining something powerful to you that when god wants to give you influence he gives you an anointing that does something to the minds of men Break every chain. Break every chain. That that is the kind of anointing that people go to the occult and say, I want to start a business. Listen carefully. And they begin with Satan, the spirit of the Antichrist. They won't tell you. Listen, let me tell you this. If you are in this kingdom, there is a meter on earth that watches the rising of men. There is a level where if you are rising in life, and satan is not aware he will come to you trust me he will come to you and say i i'm seeing that you are doing something notable on earth and you have bypassed me what is the issue we can negotiate and it will continue most people will never tell you i don't care whether you are a man of god or you are a businessman there is a level on this earth you cannot rise to until you go through look for experience satan must come he will find a way of coming to you i shared with you years ago one night when i was praying in the spirit in the night is that true and all of a sudden i saw that my the the zinc everything just opened up and i saw a strange creature the eyes were as big as the head of a man and I saw it. The tail was another living thing. And it was fuming and looking at me. And he said, you think you can bring God's people to a place of abundance? I shared that encounter. He will come. The realm of the spirit watches the progress of men. There is, an, there is a level where if you are rising and playing around, it doesn't threaten hell. But when you get to a level, they will come. I assure you. Everybody you see who has risen without God knows what I'm telling you. They will act like they don't know it. From businessmen to investors to heads of government to presidents there are positions you can never rise until that negotiation is sealed look at solomon what happened to solomon after offering a thousand bond offerings god too came to him and said solomon let's do something only two of them knew if not that solomon told you you would just know he got up in the morning strange influence nobody rises like that is a lie there must be a visitation I want to be great in the name of Jesus I'll be greater than Bill Gates get ready for look for 
something will happen do you know why i'm saying this because some of you you'll be surprised the two of this fast while you are fasting you go to bed in the night and here comes your ancient one idol in your family that has not appeared in 100 years he comes to you and say what what is going on in this koinonia you are part of i say your your father was a rich man do you know what made him rich say i know he went to harvard he said nonsense let me tell you there was a negotiation i hear that this young man is teaching you something are you ready to agree with me and no government can stand you or will you negotiate and i frustrate you and you say satan is it not this anointing there is the god the giver of all grace access to the minds of people listen what happened in babylon when those three boys were rising the satan was uncomfortable and because he he acts out his will by men every time you start rising watch what happens to the men around you have you not seen that some of you as you are coming to this fast now those who were at peace with you have started quarreling fighting you there is something happening in the realm of the spirit you make up your mind i'm i'm going to marry right i'm going to live right and then you are walking satan does not disturb you but there is a level you are a man of god you are rising anointing you are winning souls a day will come you will have strange visitations and satan will say look you are not the only man of god rising we can negotiate this i won't disturb your assembly you will grow with wildfire but you are part of those kingdoms that he showed jesus there are people who nothing stops them on earth because the factor to stop them has negotiated with them so their life will be so easy and you will look at them and say ah what is this and satan will say likewise go and ask any rich man you know you first talk about this they will, they will turn and say don't don't disturb me they know it's not a lie whether young or old i'm not talking of 1 million 20 go and meet somebody he will tell you there is nobody that rises to certain influence without bowing to someone it has to be god or satan the power of strongholds that satan can capture your mind when he captures your mind you have bowed to him it's not by doing this that means the same way when you will your mind to god and say this is an instrument oh lord put something upon my mind put something upon my life all of a sudden an anointing comes upon your mind and my brother my sister your life will be a sign and a wonder even to you that men will look at you and say kai this thing is not normal it's true it's not normal it can't be normal you see what is going on in this ministry we will be foolish to imagine it's normal no the mystery of strongholds it says pulling down strongholds what strongholds that by, by bet satan has programmed zaria already since satan has programmed nigeria since listen satan does not go around just chasing you he's too busy to look for you there is already a programming as you are between 10 to 15 there is one that kicks off between 15 to 20 there is it kicks off till you become an old man and paul said if you want to fight warfare don't just cast spirits alone if you want to fight warfare attack the programming something has happened to you that's why the people in your village behave the same way no spirit directly appears to them everyone in your village is angry it's not just that an individual demon is running a programming happened you enter a territory and all the ladies from 13 14 15 all pregnant no matter how nice they are it's a programming and it says you are not free no that means i can cast a demon from you that demon will go but when the stronghold that mindset is there the demon still calls you home he goes through desert regions and said there are no human beings here and returns back and sits down and calls others more greater than it is and the bible says the end of that man will be worse than the beginning 
so he said let this mind be in you let this mind be in you there is something satan has programmed that will never allow any that's why satan when satan does that programming he will let you go to church because he knows the kind of pastor you will meet so he's not afraid go 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 for the conference go for the convention and you can fast for 10 days and he won't disturb you pray fast he already knows what he has gotten but by the time a man of god begins to talk to you about this stronghold then you start seeing agitations he will start coming you are you are touching a nerve that matters in the spirit what is going on here who is teaching this why do you know how you have been called out of every tribe and tongue and nation not just because you are born again but that you have been given access there is an anointing that can teach you it can start teaching you something new that is not in agreement with what satan has programmed you into being and all of a sudden your life will begin to close the door for darkness to find expression jesus said satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself that means he puts something of himself in everyone so as he keeps moving around over a territory you say i see these are my people he identifies you by what he put in you but he looked at jesus he said why are you different he looked at babylon and saw everyone with it but he saw three hebrew boys he said no destroy these three boys why did they? that is is like the mark of the beast he put it in everyone so you are born you you can be educated be as educated as you want to be marry have children but that programming remains there but in this week of seven days prayer and fasting my brother my sister the mistake satan made was to allow you to be part of this program because something will de listen listen this thing i teach you is that old wine skin that god must take away the problem is not just the wine the wine skin itself cannot take what god is doing let me tell you this if satan could kill me that would be his number one assignment to kill this guy let him just die and let this thing be over when you know this about satan he will pass you like this and you will pass him i tell you the truth it's true he came to jesus did not find anything of himself and he kept waiting how do i manipulate so satan's job on earth is not just to come to individuals so is to watch over territories and governments all the captains of industries all without exception all people of influence there has been a fraternity with a spirit somewhere either the spirit of the lord god almighty or this mystery that i'm telling you luke chapter 4 is a reality that must happen before any kind of influence is established on earth he said all these have been given unto me and i will give anybody i choose did you hear satan say that so don't be surprised when a musician sings nonsense and all of a sudden two million copies sell in one month that anointing was put upon that record label he sang rubbish but you listen to it you don't even want to dance and soon you find out you are shaking your head something is wrong with you that music is doing something you don't want to listen but you put it in your phone and save it as gospel music in the night you just quietly listen and as you are listening that that reprogramming is happening again this thing is not the issue of just spirits chasing you no this is an issue of something a mindset a stronghold their job is just to supervise because they know it will always be with you it's with you while you study it's with you while you graduate the moment you become the ceo of a company satan laughs because all those 130 people in that company have through that stronghold come under his influence this is what makes him the prince of darkness that guy you see is still using his anointing go and meet satan today and tell him give me an anointing an anointing to sing or dance or do whatever agree with him the plan is going to be make sure at every point 
you find a way of capturing these people to me so he gives you influence then you give them back read revelation 13 they bow to the antichrist you see that now the who now worships the beast so satan will not come directly he will send you like a businessman who sends someone in front to be doing business for him but it's his own so this lady all of a sudden satan now says and there are other agents like that on earth so they know who is initiated so immediately they work things out for you if it's capital you need you get it fast if it's access to record labels you get it fast within one month your album is everywhere and you who is a believer i won't bow to satan but no spiritual intelligence not only will you not move they will crush you intentionally you want to become a millionaire look for welfare that's why i tell you it's not the issue of business you can do all the business you want a day will come you will get to a level that you will see people in the bank looking at you they all know themselves you travel somewhere they look at you in the plane that's why they ask you a question what do you do what do you do they are not stupid they are saying are, are we together are we a team and you say no i'm from another camp how did you get here how did you get here this our dull world where the devil keeps manipulating and men just look and say you mean it you are 26 and you're a billionaire didn't you go to school who rises like that look at all these guys producing garbages everything they produce must work because they have sold not just their soul but their minds have you heard of that selling your soul it's not your spirit you take your mind and say satan this is the bargain give me influence and i give you men and so he puts that anointing on you that's why when people see young people like us and see what god is doing because they know they will look at you like a suspect and say could it be that you too you have received something from those people are you seeing why the influence of jesus disturbs some people crowds followed him to the mountain everywhere and the scribe sat down and said something is wrong Go. this guy is running us out of business and so they concluded that the answer is to kill him and the bible calls it the hidden wisdom of god god planned it that way they were scheming his killing to the point that they were willing to release barabbas barabbas that was a notorious criminal they say we rather release him we can always capture his mind again but let's kill this jesus listen do you know why i'm teaching you this there is something about your life that satan is already seeing they are watching you everywhere ah, nobody has risen like this normally in your village and all of a sudden you are rising you are even fasting seven days and in your mind you believe as you are fasting you are driving all of them very soon you will begin to have encounters and the devil will come like look for and try to tell you look let me make this job easy for you i know what you are looking for is it not admission is it not greatness is it not influence is it not this we can negotiate it to you you just had a dream i had a dream and that's it and you get up anybody that stops you just dies and you think you are powerful one day the devil will remind you that i've been backing you up for 20 years it's time to give something back now and my demand is your firstborn and your wife the bible says, mark the wicked something will always happen in their lives that will let you know this was not normal go and give this message to a very wealthy businessman when he leaves he will pieces the cassette and throw it away tell you this is be careful with all these young boys be very careful be careful are you listening to what i'm teaching you because we are going to pray a stronghold is not just demonic a stronghold is an information that has become a programming in your mind that makes you loyal to the sender the sender of that the, a stronghold is like a chain that holds your mind and so satan captures men like this 
that's why the greatest miracle that can happen to you is the opening of your understanding i keep telling you this the bible says then open he their understanding the miracle that needs to happen to you tonight my brother my sister is not just a miracle of healing the sick there is something that happens to your mind and that sickness will go there is something that will not happen to your mind and you may be healed tonight and by next week it has come back casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ bringing every thought look at me this is where it is this is where your poverty is this is where the suffering is this is what strengthens the causes to walk there is something that has been programmed that makes you even if a man of God says you are free all of a sudden the devil knows that he's still in your mind and he will show you one dream that takes you back he knows he's a master manipulator Satan from whence cometh thou from moving to and fro the earth doing what just going around kingdoms and seeing which kingdom belongs to me ah this one does not belong to me okay who are the kings in that kingdom and he captures them and then leaves the kingdom and goes to another one this is his work this is his work but in the next few minutes we are going to pray i don't know about you but listen this is where god brought me freedom i saw people in my lineage i saw people where i came from helpless have you not seen the way people's results are still the same regardless of vocation some are even pastors whatever it is still the same a stronghold but he said the weapons of our warfare he will let you do your business provided that mindset is there continue doing it he will give you access but that you want to route it another way not him you must fight a fight of warfare the governments the systems of this world listen listen you are a civil servant no problem do your thing they promote you first promotion that's all right second promotion that's all right by the time you get to the third promotion you will find out that people who should not be talking about your issue are saying come on it is after the third promotion they now say boy this person is evil but it's, it's a lie it's not evil anything there are people who are under the influence of that's the devil pulling that string do something this guy is not for us if you allow him rise he will recruit people because if you allow him rise he will be in a board meeting with all the executives and he will play a message and there is power in that message they will hear and when they get born again they will go back to their subunits and do the same thing let me tell you something satan can lose a territory if those are both surrender to god satan can lose a territory in one week the secret to world evangelization or world dominion is not just evangelism, it's influence. That's why when Jesus was preaching, every time he saw an influential man, he stopped. He saw the centurion. He said, no, 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 let me go. He saw Zacchaeus. He said, Zacchaeus, you have influence. You are a tax collector. You are the head of CBN. Come down. I'm going to your house. Because by visiting you, that something will happen to that territory listen satan does not walk the way we think he is that he pursues you as an individual he doesn't have that time do you know what it takes for satan to zoom his attention on you no he just puts little demons around to just supervise what he has done when you are about deviating here they just coordinate you one sickness one headache just to bring you back like a buffer solution but satan himself he's on earth satan is on earth my question is who now is in his mind that's the person you should respect who now is giving satan sleeplessness when satan comes to zaria if he's to talk to one person who will it be who is satan so threatened my assignment is to make you that person that there is something about your understanding that the moment you go home in two weeks everyone who is not saved is saved doors are opened and they say what is all this 
we believe in bowing down to a shrine but you came to this house and favor started coming listen this is what happened when god wanted to lift joseph all the diviners had a formula for getting answers and god shut the heaven and said joseph go the people were surprised the king was disappointed you are my wise men you are my sorcerers and you could not interpret my dream and the lord brought joseph and they were watching ready to laugh like janus and jambes that's why they were surprised moses where did you come from who taught you how to turn a rod he said i met with another man i, I had an encounter the anointed cherub that covereth like an eagle spread her wings he covers businesses he covers great men he covers husbands he covers wives he covers families and says nobody comes within this circumference without making allegiance to me so paul says when you are about to fight warfare don't just focus on that spirit trying to find out what is the name of the spirit the spirit too is on assignment the real thing to conquer is the programming is someone ready to pray tonight open your mouth and begin to bless in tongues Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Say Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome One more time You overcome Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome For the last time now You overcome Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome Hold somebody's hands Say after me in the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Every handwriting, every handwriting, every ordinance, every ordinance, every programming, every programming over my lineage, over my, lineage, over my, territory, over my territory, over my mind, over my mind. I command you, I command you, be destroyed now. Open your mouth and pray. <laughs>
Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says there is a kind of programming that can make the word of God of non effect. In other words, even if you prophesy to those people in the name of Jesus, let your life change, that that programming can fight the potency. It's true. I like you to pray and say every mindset. Say it again. Every mindset. Every mindset. That was in my father. That was in my father. That was in my mother. That was in my mother. That was responsible. That was responsible for their low life. For their low life. For their defeat. For their defeat. And it's in me now. It's in me now. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood I come against you. this anointing you know why the bible says i will multiply them they will not be few i will glorify them listen there is an anointing that if god puts on your mind that idea must expand no that's how it works there is an anointing that if god puts on your ministry it will bring people under loyalty to the vision that god has given you listen you are a businessman Without this anointing, your products will not go far. I tell you this. I like you to say in the name of Jesus. In the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. The anointing. The, the anointing, anointing. That brings influence. That brings influence. The anointing. The anointing. The anointing. For performance. For, for performance. performance. The anointing. The anointing. For expansion. For expansion. I receive it now. I receive it now. Receive it now. Your voice and Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Look at me. Look at me. What is it about a message from a ministry in Zaria that somebody will collect it in the US, in the UK, and his assignment is to make sure everybody hears it? You to think. What is it that will make a taxi driver drive him and koinonia message is playing that you go to fix your phone and without your permission someone transfers messages there is an anointing oh there is a grace we are going to pray this thing no don't be foolish because let me tell you this this is why many people remain small it's not by traveling abroad it's by what you are carrying having wings in the spirit there is a grace that gives the works of your hands wings. You will be in a cave like Elijah and Naaman will come and look for you. He said Gentiles shall come to your light and kings you won't go to them. This anointing will draw them. Lift your voice and call it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody. In the name of Jesus, I bless you. I command by the anointing of the Spirit of God. Go with this strange anointing right now. Go and increase and multiply. I decree and declare that from tonight, the grace of God is at work in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, I may not have time to see people and we have to close and please evacuate this place uh, at least within a few minutes. Let's tidy up everything we have to do. Praise the Lord. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost. Rest and abide with us now.